This is a real pressure temperature reading table from ASME B16.34. So in this table, you can find the real pressure that the valve can hold in different uh, temperature range. So when you look at this table, two things you need to concern about it. First is the material. Because in valve industry, we have a lot of different material. We use different material to make valve. For example, WCB, WC6, CF8, CF3. Different material has different property. So we cannot using one temperature pressure reading table for all the material. That is uh, impossible and also it's, uh, it is not accuracy. So in ASME B16.34, it already divided to different group of material. For example, this group of material is for those material. For example, the WCB in this group. WCB is the most common material in valve industry. So when you check the pressure temperature reading table first, you know check, you, you are looking for the correct uh, material group for your use. And next is, you can see in one material group, the table divided to two tables, table A and table B. Why is it divided to two tables? Because ask me B16.34, this standard is for flange thread widening three kind of connection valve. But actually, thread and widening connection are stronger than the flange connection. So the accuracy, we made two tables for different connection. Table A is for the valve, which is flange connection. Table B is for the valve, which is thread and the widening connection. So that will be more accuracy. So, when you look at uh, pressure temperature reading table, two things you're concerned about it. First is the material, second is the connection. And then you will find the correct table for you to use. So let's look at the detail about this table. In this table, the horizontal side is already divided to different class from 150 to 4,500. And the vertical side divided to different temperature range from 100 to 1000. For example, you have a valve which is made by WCB and the class is 150. So you can use in this table to check how big pressure does this valve can hold. So this valve in 100 Fahrenheit degree working temperature environment, this valve actually can hold 285 PSI pressure inside. And when the pressure getting higher to 500 Fahrenheit degree, this valve just can hold 117 PSI inside. And then when the temperature getting high to 600 Fahrenheit degree, this valve cannot hold 115 PSI anymore. It just can hold 114 PSI pressure inside. So that is the principle for people to check how big pressure does the valve can hold. And also, if you are a a uh, valve application engineer, you also can use in this table to find the, the correct valve class for your use, for your manufacturing. For example, in your flow control system, the flow control system inside the pipe, the temperature is 800 Fahrenheit degree. And inside the pipe, the pressure is maybe 100, 100 PSI. So, if you want to find the correct class for this uh, flow control system. So, according to this table, in 800 Fahrenheit degree, if the valve won't hold 100 PSI pressure safely, of course, 115 class is not enough because 115 class valve in 800 Fahrenheit degree environment just can hold 80 PSI pressure. So you must looking for the next level, the 300 class pressure valve. So 300 class pressure valve in 800 Fahrenheit degree, it can hold 410 PSI pressure inside. So that is a principle for the application engineer to find the correct pressure class for their use. For their use. And uh, let's look at uh, several different table. This is WCB table. And next we have WC9 
and also the table actually is almost uh, the same, almost the same principle with WCB. And the last one is the uh, CF3 and uh, CF8, the stainless steel. So now I think you already understand when you saw this gate valve, when you saw this gate valve, the material is CF8. The, the pressure class is 150. So if you want to know how big pressure does this valve can hold in different temperature working environment, so you can use this table to find out this table is for the w is for the cf8 and uh, if this valve is 115 class 115 class so you can check this this part to find out how big pressure does this valve can hold in different temperature range i want to show two blueprints for you to prove does this real blueprint designed by ASME B16.34? I mean, I want to prove this gate valve body blueprint, the wall thickness designed by ASME B16.34 valve body minimum wall thickness table. So let's look at this blueprint. This, the first one is 14 inch, 600 class, and another one is 12 inch, 600 pressure class. So let's find the minimum wall thickness in the minimum wall thickness table. This is a minimum wall thickness table from ASME B16.34. This is a metric, metric uh, system vision. This is metric system vision. All the numbers unit is millimeter. So the first one is 12 inch. 12 inch equals 300 millimeter. So the Minimum wall thickness is 22.9. So the first one is 22.9. And the next one is 14 inch. 14 inch equals 350 millimeter. So 600 class at least need 26.3. 26.3. Wall thickness. What's the news? Because when we find those number from minimum wall thickness table, those number are called the minimum wall thickness table. So this number is minimum. In the real manufacturing, most engineers will add the safety factor to make sure this valve will be safe for working in the pressure environment. So most of the time, we will multiply 1.35 for safety factor for safety factor and we were using the result to make a valve for example the first one multiply by 1.35 that equals 13.9 and the next one that equals 13.5 so most of the time we were using those number to design a valve because that will be safe for the user working in the environment, the pressure environment. So let's find, does this blueprint designed by this number? So the first one is, so the first one is a 14 inch 600. 14 inch 600, according to our calculation, we need 35.5, 35.5 millimeter thickness, wall thickness. So the wall thickness measurement located here, so the wall thickness, thickness is 35.1. So that is almost the same with our calculation. So this valve body will be safe for working in 600 class pressure environment. And the next one is 12 inch 600. The measurement for wall thickness located here. It is 32, it is 32 millimeter wall thickness. So according to our calculation, we, at least we need 13.9, so it's uh, higher than our calculation. So this valve body also will be safe working in 600 class pressure environment. So that is a real principle for the real engineer going to design a valve body. They will uh, put the safety factor in this minimum wall thickness table. So this is for today. 
I hope you already understand. And uh, if you like my video, please subscribe. If you have any question, please leave comment. And uh, thank you for watching. See you, see you next time. Bye bye.